Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please... one subscribe two like share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three. Like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Four. Subscribe. All right. Our lesson for today is about constants, variables, and algebraic expressions, which is part of a polynomial. And this is for quarter two, week three, and this is your teacher, Marife Adonis. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing by Walt this. Let's have a definition of a polynomial. A polynomial is an algebraic expression that represents a sum of one or more terms containing whole number exponents on a variables. So we have examples of polynomials. We have a or 8ab square 4x plus 3 5x squared minus 3x plus 4, and 5x plus 2y minus 3z. Example number one, tell whether its expression is a polynomial or not. Okay, 9x squared plus 6x minus 1, letter B, 1 half x squared minus, minus 3 or 1, 3.4x plus 7. The solution a is a polynomial, yes, and B is also a polynomial. Tell whether its expression is a polynomial or not. Of course, um, number one is a polynomial, is uh, number two is also a polynomial. Okay, what is an algebraic expression? Any combination and grouping of constants and variables generated by applying a finite number of elementary operations is called an algebraic expression. A term is a part of an algebraic expression between any two consecutive plus or minus signs. It is a number, a variable, a product, or a quotient of numbers and variables. What is a monomial? A monomial is an algebraic expression of only one term. Okay, and there are examples of a monomial for 3x, 7a, 3e over 4ac. And what is a binomial? An algebraic expression of two terms is a binomial. Here are examples of binomial. 3x plus 2y, a plus 2b, 3m minus n. What is a trinomial? An algebraic expression of three terms is a trinomial. So each is the following... Each of the following expressions is in a trinomial. So we have 15x plus 3y minus 2z, 7x minus x squared plus 3x cubed. What is a multinomial? If an algebraic expression contains more than three terms, it is called multinomial. Say we have a plus b minus c minus 4 plus uh, or x plus 2y minus 3z plus 5. These are examples of multinomials. Okay. Now, in the preceding uh, illustrations, the, the literal parts in a given algebraic expressions are often called variables. And the number parts are called constants. For example, the numerical factors of 3x plus 2y, namely 3 and 4, are constants. And x and y are the variables. 
Okay, we have example number two. Complete the following table. Alright, so here we need to find out what is constant. So, in 3x minus 4y, the constants are 3 and 4 or negative 4. And the variables are x and y. And 5a, of course, the constant is 5 and the variable is a. In 3x minus 21, the constants are 3 and the negative 21, while the variable is x. In 2x plus 6y minus 2, the, bar, the constants are 2, 6, and negative 2, while the variables are also x and y. Okay. Next, let us classify its expression, expressions as monomial, binomial, or trinomial. Okay, so number one, this is a monomial. Of course, so this is monomial. And then we have number two, this is binomial because it has two terms. Nine is also a monomial. Four is a binomial. No, for for x squared plus three x to the fourth. Of course, that is a binomial. And then we have number five. 5z minus 7 is still a binomial. Okay, so other than that, no, three terms is trinomials, and uh, more than three is a multinomial. Okay, let's have here uh, classifying polynomial. Okay, so we have here degree 1, 2, and 3. So an example of a degree 1 is 2x plus 3y. We call it as linear polynomial. Now, later on, when you go to higher um, algebra, alam, mal, 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 that's, that will be, mariremind na kayo kung ano yung different types of polynomials, no? Or, so we have 3x squared plus 2x minus 1, so we, we have here a quadratic polynomial because of, uh, the, the exponent 2, no? And the degree is 2. Degree refers to the highest exponent. And we have the uh, 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 16 is a cubic polynomial because of the exponent 3. So, cubed for cubic, okay? Okay, sir, let's have writing polynomials in descending or ascending order. Descending order is a way of writing a polynomial in one variable in descending exponents. The coefficient of the first term is called leading coefficient. Ascending order is the convenient to write the polynomial in ascending or increasing order. In this case, we begin with the term with the lowest exponent, the terms that follow must have increasing degrees. So we have example 3, right? It's polynomial in descending and ascending order. So we have example A, 5x to the 5th power plus 3x cubed plus 2x plus 7. And letter B, we have negative 5x minus 2x, 5 plus 4x cubed. So our solution, descending in descending order, so we have 5x. 5 or the power of 5 plus 3x cubed plus 2x plus 7. In ascending order, so we'll start from 7 plus 2x plus 3x cubed plus 5x to the fifth power. For descending order, so we have negative 2x5 plus 4x cubed minus 5x. And for ascending order, we have negative 5x plus 4x cubed minus 2x to the power of 5. Write it is polynomial in descending and ascending order. So we have here, okay, so if we're going to write that in uh, descending order, so this is already descending. Na? 
10x to the 5th, uh, 10x to the 6th power plus 4x cubed, uh, 4x to the power of 4 and plus 3x plus 2, this is already descending order, no? Okay, descending order na siya. So, we need to write it in ascending. So, we have 2 plus 3x plus 4 to x to the power of 4 plus 10x to the power of 6. And then, for letter B, so, we have here, we are going to write it in ascending or descending order. So, we have 3 or negative 3x to the 4th plus 5x cubed minus 7x. So, this is descending order. Okay. And if we are going to write that into ascending, so, of course, that would be negative 7x plus 5x cubed minus 3x to the 4th power. Okay? I think you understand now the different meanings of all var constants, variables, algebraic expressions, and now we have a polynomial. Don't forget to subscribe like share don't forget to ring the bell button leave a comment and share for questions and clarifications, just write it at the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. Bye-bye, everyone. See you again. Love you all. Make a love shout out to all my teams, the, or, the Team Organic Barcadas, YTC International, and the Team Solid Family. I love you guys. And to all my students, especially to uh, Day 7 lessons, altruism, admirability, um, accountability, and appreciation. I, have, I love you all. Thank you so much.